Hello everybody and welcome to this little tutorial I'm going to do. This is how to set up a YouTube event uh, for streaming live. Um, something that sounds really simple but actually has quite a few steps to it. So uh, I'm going to start by going to YouTube and you want to go to your Creator Studio. You want to go to live streaming and then you want to go to events. So we don't have any scheduled events right now. So we're going to go new live event. Um, we're going to schedule this one for today at five o'clock. Just call it uh, test stream. Now real important here, you want to um, change your type over here to custom. That'll allow you to uh, use third-party encoders like OBS. So make sure that's clicked and then from there you can go to advanced. iRacing is typically what we do so we go to iRacing and then you want to create your event. Now once you do this you'll come up to this screen and these are your ingestion settings. You can upload a thumbnail here if you'd like. But um, Real, uh, really what you want to just do here is select the bitrate you're going to stream at. And um, this is really all you need to do if you use OBS. It'll give you your stream key, which is right here. So you want to copy and paste that because you're going to need it. But once you're done here, um, you're pretty much done as far as scheduling the event. So if we jump out here to events, you'll see test stream is set up and it's ready to go. So the next thing you want to do, if you're just doing a one-time event, then, then you can go to your OBS and go to file, go to settings, go to stream, and here's where you want to paste that key. And you want to hit apply and hit OK. Now to go live, there's a number of steps involved. So you want to come back here to your test stream and from here you can go to the live control room or you can also click this and if it's your account then you can also go to the live control room. So you click live control room and that'll bring up this screen. So you want to see if I can make enough room on the page here for both. You want to hit start streaming and when you do that this will pop to this screen. That red bar will disappear and it'll say preview. So then you want to hit preview and I'll ask are you sure you want to preview this live event? Yeah, you do. You definitely want to do that. And then it'll say good and all this stuff. It can take a minute here to uh, get ready to go live. And then it'll this will go solid like this, and um, it'll say start streaming, obviously. So at this point, if you want to use this as your preview. You click this, make sure you turn your volume off, that's very important, otherwise you're going to get echoing like crazy. And then you want to hit start stream. Now if you, if I were to hit this, then we'd be live on YouTube. I'm not going to do that right now because this is just a test. So um, once you do that, you're live and um, it'll show a green bar up here if your health is good and if it drops, it'll show that too. It'll drop to yellow. Yellow, um, you're usually okay. but. Uh, that's for a different time. Anyways, so that is um, really all you need to do. So I'm going to hit stop streaming here. So that whole time, even with OBS, even though you hit s start streaming, you weren't actually streaming because you never um, hit start streaming on your uh, control room. So as far as organizing a series, what you want to do is you want to go in and create an event. And then what I do is I just use a Word document. So we have a Northwest Truck Series here. Um, 
and then you would go say that that session I just created was their Daytona race. So then I just paste the stream key in there and I'll keep this document um, handy. And then every week as we come up on that event, I'll just open my OBS. And I'll go to stream and I'll just change the stream key. So every event, every scheduled event has its own particular stream key. So hopefully some of you found this helpful. I don't normally do um, tutorials, but uh, I found this particularly frustrating uh, considering we had just been using YouTube's uh, live now beta option for when we were streaming. So anyways, um, that's about it.